What up, this is Rama Screen covering movies, TV, and entertainment, and here's my review of The Mustang. Let's rock this. Firstly, I want to let you know that years ago, I interviewed actor Matthias Schoenard's, I hope I pronounced that last name correctly, for his movie Bullhead, which was Oscar nominated for Best Foreign Language Film from Belgium. So to see him becoming one of Hollywood's go-to actors over the years, from Rust and Bones and A Bigger Splash all the way to The Danish Girl and Red Sparrow. It's just wonderful, you know? It's nice to see good things happen to good actors. And in this latest one, The Mustang, as the lead, Schoenarts reminds us of why he is one of the most underrated actors of today's generation. Directed by Laura de clermont -Tonnerre, Matthias Schoenarts plays Roman, a Nevada prison convict who struggles to escape his violent past. His daughter visits him only to demand that he signs away the house that belongs to their family so that she can use that money to raise her child. Roman finds himself in an outdoor maintenance program part of his state-mandated social rehabilitation where under the training of Bruce Dern's character, Miles, and a trick writer named Henry, played by Jason Mitchell, Roman learns to connect with an unbreakable wild horse while at the same time finds his own humanity in the process. This story is actually based on director Laura's previous short film, Rabbit, which was about a female prisoner entrusted with a rabbit as part of this prison pet partnership program. Honestly, I actually haven't seen the short film, but let me just start by saying that the Mustang is beautifully shot. The cinematography really captures the wonder and the mysticism of America's desert. And the film also does a fine job of making us feel concerned whenever Roman is alone with the wild, unpredictable horse as he tries to calm the horse down. I'm guessing it's not easy to shoot those scenes. They must have gone through countless takes. And there's probably more than one horse involved for that specific role, that specific horse character that Roman has to deal with. And so all of that makes the task all the more challenging and the result all the more impressive. The story is profound and the characters are well developed and on top of that, the performances are outstanding. Even Jason Mitchell, who kind of provides this film's comic relief, he dances between that and the tragedy that befalls his character because his character also has his own personal demons. What you need to know about Matthias Schoenart's character, Roman, is that he is a very angry man, which makes him suited for that horse. Both Roman and the horse are untamed, they have issues, and they lash out on everybody around them. It doesn't take a genius to draw that parallel and to figure out how Roman and the horse both externalize their frustrations. And all throughout, Matthias Schoenarts delivers his performance with the utmost raw and powerful passion. And don't miss out on young actress Gideon Adlin, who plays Roman's daughter, because in this movie, Gideon gives indications that one of these years, someday, she could become award-worthy. The Mustang is a deeply moving story of redemption. It's a riveting story of unlikely friendship between man and beast, and how taking care of something or somebody can change your perspective about life. All of this movie's intentions land in the most effective way because it never goes off course. Even the prison drama is kept at a minimum level, just to show you that the violence and the threat are there. But it always goes back to shaping and molding this rough, rugged clay of an individual into the compassionate social person that deep down he himself knows he has it within him. So that's it, that's my review of The Mustang. Share your thoughts in the comment section below, and as always, subscribe to my channel, and press that like button, and ring that bell so you can get notified whenever I post new videos. Hey, if you like this review and you want me to make more, please contribute monthly to help support this channel at Rama Screen Patreon page. Become my patrons today at patreon.com slash ramascreen.
Let's rock this.